All right, so it's time to continue with the progress of installing another Proxmox LXC container, but this time we're gonna be using Ubuntu. So let's get started. All right, so this time we're gonna take a little bit of a different approach because I'm gonna be able to connect this LXC container to my NAS, which we didn't do with our file browser, but if you want to, you can do this method as well. And also we're gonna be using Ubuntu. So to begin, we're gonna create a CT and we're gonna uncheck the unprivileged container. We're gonna name this bin book because that's the service I wanna run. LXC, give it a password. Next, template, I'm gonna run Ubuntu 22. Eight gigs of RAM is fine. One CPU, half a gig of RAM is fine. I mean, eight gigs in this space. Network, I'm gonna change this over to DHCP, DNS, and confirm, and then finish. Now, when this is done, we don't start this up yet because we do have to change some settings. So I'm gonna go over to this open book and head over to options. And in features, we're gonna enable edit this, and we're gonna add SMB and CIF. And now we can start it. Root and the password. The first thing we're gonna do here is an apt update, just to make sure we have the latest repositories. We can do an apt upgrade to install the 150 packages too. Okay. So here we're gonna install something called SIF utils. So we're gonna do apt install SIF utils. We're gonna clear that screen. And now we're gonna make a new file in the etc directory, and we're gonna call this .smb underscore creds, which is my Samba credentials, and you need user name equals, and then the username, password, which is also your password, and domain, which is usually workgroup. So you need these three identifiers inside this file, and once you're done with that, we're gonna head into fs tab. So we're gonna nano into etc fs tab, and in here, we're gonna add our server. In my case, it's gonna be 192.168.105.86, and it's gonna be in public. That's the shared folder I have. And we are gonna mount this to mnt slash public. Or you could do whatever you want, media slash public, whatever you want over here. We're also gonna make this, also keep in mind everything is tabbed over here. So we're gonna have SIF tab credentials and in our case, we're gonna do etc slash dot smb underscore creds, comma. We want this to be read and write, no perm, and UID of like a thousand. In Raspberry Pi, you would use a thousand. In my case, I'm just gonna make it a hundred thousand, which is fine. Tab is zero, then tab again is zero, and then now we have our mount ready. We hit Control L to clear the screen, and we're gonna make dir mnt public and now we could do mount dash a and if there's no errors that means now i could list my structure in mount and public and then i have my nas in here you could see i have apps books downloads files youtube stuff like that so now we got our nas mounted to our lxc and next we have to download open books now this is the github if you're interested in using this helps you download books from irc networks which is irc highway.net and what I'm going to do right here is actually download the release because it has to be compiled and I'm going to download this Linux version right click copy link and I'm going to do a wget and grab this file there you go chmod uh, make it executable open books and then now it should be green now I'm going to move this over to user bin folder and I am gonna open this up. Let me do that again. Now, the reason why I'm opening this up because there's a lot of per, uh, parameters we gotta put in, especially for the name of the user that you're gonna use, the port, the directory where you wanna save everything. So we're gonna have to type this all out. So what I'm gonna do is just open a textbook and I wanna make a new file here. And we're just gonna do user bin open books underscore Linux. And the first thing we're gonna do is dir. So we're gonna do slash mnt slash public slash books because that's where I wanna save all my books. Name, we could make this up. So we're some underscore users, user with couple of R's. Port, I'm gonna run this on port 8080. 
and that is about it now if you want to test this you could just grab this copy and we're going to paste this over here just to see if it runs and there you go localhost 8080 i don't even know what the ip address is on this ipa 237 so we're going to run that again we're going to do 192.168.105.237 and we made it port 8080 and there we go we have our open books and once you hit search it should be able to search through that irc for books and you can see it's connected all right so now that i know it works i don't have to i don't want to run every time uh, when i have to boot up this machine i want to add, be built as a service so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna make since i need it as a script i'm gonna nano open book.sh crunch bang bin bash and I'm gonna paste that command that I ran over there because these parameters will screw up sometimes with the services. So I'd rather just run this as a script. So I'm gonna hit yes to save this. chmod, make this executable. There you go. And now we're gonna nano into etc systemd system. And we're gonna name this openbook.service. And since I actually have a template github.com slash nova spirit i have a little repository called linux systemd and i ran this before for a file server i'm just going to copy this and we're not going to use everything that's on here but it gives you like a good starting point i'm going to paste this on here and start renaming stuff and this one is called open books working directory okay uh, execute start. This one will be, I think it's just, yeah, user bin bash slash root slash open book dot sh. What makes this fail is you need this particular command, which is called environment. I'll show you what happens if I don't run it with environment. And then I should be able to just exit this and I will run system CTL enable open books that service and now i'm gonna start it and now i'm gonna see status it should break there you go exit code two and the reason for this is because this software particularly needs an environment and needs to know what your home directory is so i'm gonna go back into this kill the restart on failure part i don't really need it Kill timeout stop. I don't need that either. Syslog identifier. I could. I'm gonna change this to open books and remain after exit equals true. And this is the important bit, which is environment equals quote home equals slash root because that's our home directory. And then it's going to be root. And then now we should be able to exit this, enable the service again. I'm going to restart the service because it's already started. And then now if I hit status, everything is running and it's got my little thing because it got the base path. It got all this other stuff that I need. And if I was to test this again, I'm going to hit F5. Everything is running. So there we go. If I was to look for any books now, it will go through the IRC um, highway.net. Potentially search for any Linux books that you're looking for or anything through here, and you should be able to download what you need. What's cool is that once you download it, it actually downloads to your uh, book directory that you made for your NAS. But if you click on it again, it'll actually download it as a download to the browser that you're using. So it technically saves it into your NAS, but you can also re-download to any machine like your phone or whatever it is right off the same URL or right off the same server that you're running. But that is about it. That's how easy it is to run a service on Ubuntu as well as connect your network or, or your LXC to your NAS so you can transfer files over. Again, this is a continuation from what we were doing just a couple of days ago, but instead of using Alpine, we are using Ubuntu and now we got connection to network. If you have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. And if you got new to the channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And I say my nerd cave, Hack to